Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you on how to crochet this quick and easy bucket hat for beginners. The size I'm making in the video is a size small, so this would fit an average adult. I have the braiding pattern available for other sizes from age 1 to large, and you can find the links in the description box. For this project, I'm using Wet Heart Super Saver and I really like the color. This is a number 4 medium acrylic yarn, but you can use any types of yarn of your choice. A 6mm hook, a pair of scissors, and yarn needle. This is my crochet ring and I love this ring because I could crochet for hours without putting down my hook. And I highly recommend if you crochet a lot. This is to help ease the pain on the finger so that the yarn is not pulling the finger. I use it every single time when I crochet. The link is also in the description box if you want to find out more. Alright, let's get started. Firstly, I'm using two strings of yarn. Because I want to wear my hat in the winter time, so I want this to be thick and warm. But you can also use chunky yarn. Make a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around your finger twice like this. With the 6mm hook, go under the first loop, pull the second loop, and twist. Yarn over, and pull through the working yarn. And voila! To begin round 1, 1 chain. And place 10 half double crochet into the magic circle. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, 3 loops on the hook, yarn over, and pull through three loops. That's one. Again, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through three loops. Two, three, four, five, oops. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. Now that we have 10 half double crochet, pull the tail to close the circle. To begin round 2, slip stitch into the first stitch. That's this one over here. And you can always count backwards if you don't know which one is your first stitch. 1 chain. In the same stitch, place 2 half double crochet. That's one. One more. On the next stitch, also place two half double crochet. One. Two. So basically for this round, we're placing two half double crochet into every stitch. By the end of the round, there will be 20 stitches, and I'll meet you on round 3. On round 3, slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain. In the same stitch, place a half double crochet. On the next stitch, increase. So place two half double crochet. One. And two. Half double crochet. Increase. Two. 
and this is the repeat for this round. By the end of the round, there will be 30 stitches, and I meet you on round 4. Round 4 is another increase round. Slip stitch into the first stitch, 1 chain. Place a half double crochet in 1, 2 stitches. One, two. On the next stitch, increase. One, and one more into the same stitch. Half double crochet, half double crochet. Increase. And this is the repeat for this round. By the end of the round, there will be 40 stitches, and I meet you on round 5. Okay, round 5 is a easy round. Slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain. On this round, place a half double crochet in every stitch. By the end of the round, we still have the same number of stitches of 40. And I meet you on the next round. Round 6 is another increase round. Slip stitch. 1 chain. On this round, half double crochet in 3 stitches. 1 2 3 Increase. And this is the repeat for this round. Half double crochet into 3 stitches. Then increase. By the end of the round, there will be 50 stitches. And I'll meet you on round 7. Slip stitch, 1 chain. On this round, place a half double crochet into every stitch. By the end of the round, we still have the same number of stitches of 50. And I'll meet you on round 8. To begin round A, slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain. Place a half double crochet in one, two, three, four stitches. Then increase. And this is the repeat for this round. Place a half double crochet into four stitches. Then increase. By the end of the round, there will be 60 stitches. I'll meet you on round 9. To begin round 9, slip stitch, 1 chain. On this round, place a half double crochet into every stitch. By the end of the round, we still have 60 stitches. And I'll meet you on round 10. Alright, so we make it to round 10. So far the pattern is pretty easy and simple. So slip stitch, 1 chain. On this round, place a half double crochet in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 stitches. On this itch, increase. And by the end of this round, there will be 66 stitches. And I meet you on the next round. At the end of round 10, the hat fits my head perfectly. So for the next 5 rounds, we are going to place a half double crochet into every stitch. No increasing for 5 rounds. And I meet you 
at the end of round 15. At the end of round 15, my hat measures 10.5 inches by 6 inches and this fits my head perfectly. So to begin round 16, place a half double crochet into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 stitches. Then increase. Repeat this all around. By the end of the round, there will be 72 stitches. And I'll meet you on the next round. Round 17 is another increase round. We are going to place a half double crochet in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 stitches. Then increase. And this is the repeat for this round. Started on round 10, every increased round will be increasing by 6 stitches. So for round 18 to round 22, I will have the stitch numbers on the screen. Alright guys, we made it to the final round. And for this round, we are doing things a little bit differently, but still very easy and simple. Instead of using a half double crochet stitch, we are using single crochet stitch single crochet into every stitch. The reason is to round up the edge a little bit. And I'll meet you at the end of the round. At the end of the round, after the last stitch, cut yarn with your yarn needle, insert into the first stitch, and insert into the back loop of the previous stitch. Just like that. And this will give you a nice finishing look. Lastly, is to fasten off the tail. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you liked today's project. Please comment below to let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.